Mastering the Art of Formal Farewells. Names and Titles Matter. Hello, dear learners. Today, we'll dive deep into a specific aspect of English language usage, formal farewells. But we won't just be saying goodbye and walking away. Oh, no, we're going to explore how addressing people by their titles and names can make your farewells smoother, more respectful, and professionally appropriate. So, get ready for an exciting linguistic journey. To begin with, let's clarify why it's crucial to address people by their titles and names in a formal context. Using correct titles and names demonstrates respect, politeness, and acknowledges the other person's identity and role. Remember, your closing words can leave a lasting impression, so it's essential to end conversations on a positive note. Next, we'll discuss some common titles and when to use them. Mr. This is a title used before a surname or full name of a male person. Mrs. Used before a surname or full name of a married female person. Ms. Used before a surname or full name of a female person, regardless of her marital status. Doctor. Used before the name of a person who holds a doctorate or a medical degree. Professor. Short for professor, used for someone who holds a professorship at a university. Remember, after the first introduction, it's respectful to use the person's title followed by their surname. For example, it was great talking to you, Mr. Smith. Now, let's see how we can incorporate these titles into our farewells. The formula is quite straightforward. Use the phrase, it was nice to meet you, or it was great talking to you, or any such appropriate line followed by the person's title and surname. Here are some examples. It was nice meeting you, Mrs. Johnson. Thank you for your time, Dr. Adams. I look forward to our next meeting, Professor Brown. Remember, using a person's title and name isn't just about being polite. It's also about creating a connection with them. That's all for today, dear learners. We hope that this lesson has made the concept of using titles and names in formal farewells more accessible and less intimidating for you. Remember, practice is key when it comes to mastering these aspects. So, keep practicing and continue to enrich your English language skills. As we always say, goodbye for now, but not forever. Until next time, keep learning.